Hey, we, we don't go way back, but we started the same six one together and we're 17 years old. Like, seriously, uh, we ask you, I, mean, even though I'm, I ask myself the question sometimes, what am I doing here? Like, I'm 17, fam. There's clubs, there's raves, smoking, drinking, sex, bruv. All these kind of things that our generation finds interesting. Obviously, I got saved recently in January and just watching Solomon, just watching Clark, just watching Andrew has really, really pushed me to the point where now nah, these youth, they, they're finding church boring. They're finding the building kind of inclusive, ex excluding them away from what God really wants them to be. And seeing you man come out, seeing these, these, these kind of events, it's, it's inspiring. On a real, it's inspiring. I'm seeing God move in ways that I've never even thought possible. Like Jericho Project is something I've never heard of in my life. Something I've never seen done anywhere in the world. Not something I've never seen done in London before. And to know that there are youth out here who are willing to devote their lives, like forget jobs, forget families, willing to devote themselves to God. <laughs> the devil is over. His life is over, fam. He, he has no say anymore. He actually has no say in London. Where's the devil, fam? He's running. He's running. God's here and it's not, it's not time to play anymore. The devil is gone, fam. God is standing and he's sending his spirits and he's sending his angels and he's sending his ministers, his prophets, and he's saying, now you see, this world has been under oppression for too long. This world has been under, under slavery from sin too long. No, I love you people. I sent my son to die for you people. And now it's time to send man them out there. It's time to send girl them out there. It's time to send everyone out there who loves me with an everlasting love to say, you know what? I am young. I got education. I got jobs. I got work ahead of me. But you know what? All that is second. Christ comes first. And literally, that's what this ministry is about. Jericho Project, I salute you to the most. I salute Jericho Project to the most. Like, there's something I want to be part of and it's something I want to grow up doing. For real, you guys have inspired me and I bless God continue. I pray continually every day for your lives. Don't stop doing what you're doing. The youth need you. The adults need you. The old people need you. The world needs you. And by this, I just pray that God lets his spirit lead us onto higher grounds. We're taking this. We're going to be taking this from London to international stages. We're going to be taking this from London to overseas where people have never even heard of Christ. They're going to come and they're going to love God and see him as the most important thing in their life. And that's just it for me, man. That's just it for me. For real, it's, just, it's, a, it's a sick thing, it's a sick thing. To be honest with you, I'm not going to lie, the Spirit just told me to come today because I could have came to the one in August by myself, but I don't know, I, don't, I can't remember what happened, but that stopped me from coming. And the Spirit just told me to come here today, that I'll get touched in somewhere, and I really did. Like I said before, watching all these people preach, just, just kind of touched a spot of me, because I know I can, I, I can do it one day, and coming here just made me realise that a bit more, and the preaching, and really that, I really felt it to this, so coming here, I don't know, was a good idea and I'm glad that the spirit dropped in my heart to come.